Two-year-old Blake and his parents have reached the limits of their small flat, but his mum, Vicky, can't sell because of fire risks identified in the block, which could cost them £40,000 to fix. While they wait to find out, the chance to have another child is slipping away too. Sadly, both my husband and I have been diagnosed with depression. We're both on antidepressants um, and both been suffering with anxiety. We are well and truly stuck. We can't move. And by the time this is all resolved, sadly, I think I will probably be too old for us to try for a sibling for Blake. So it has entirely impacted our life choices as a family. These flats in Birmingham don't have flammable cladding like Grenfell Tower, but problems with insulation, fire breaks and timber balconies. In the same block is Tom, who bought a flat here with money he inherited when his mother died. He fears it's now worthless. We've got the Wake-In Watch, um, who are walking around the building 24-7, basically to ensure that it's not on fire. Um, and they're a constant reminder that the building has been deemed to be unsafe. Um, and, and the Wake-In Watch are also costing us £5,000 a week, as well across the development. So there's a lot of financial cost and there's a lot of kind of mental cost as well. Justice police hold us! Others caught up in the cladding crisis came to protest outside Downing Street. My uh, kind of anticipated bill is like to be in the region of 70,000 or more. We tried to move a couple of years ago, but obviously it was just before this happened and then this happened and then we were told we had no chance. We're not asking for the government to pay, we're asking the developers to pay and they actually need to legislate to make sure those developers pay. These leaseholders from across the country are in the same situation, trapped in flats, deemed a fire risk. The government has promised help, but not everyone will get it. The government have put £5 billion into the removal of dangerous cladding, but some Conservative MPs say they'll push for more when a new law is debated in Parliament. We will definitely be laying amendments and doing everything we can, working cross-party with anybody to actually ensure that leaseholders get some kind of protection. At the moment, there's um, five million people pretty much affected by what's going on, and this is of the government's own making. The developer of these flats, Red Row, told us they're aware of the stress residents are under due to new government standards and they're taking up what they say are unproven defects with the firm that built it. Meanwhile, families here feel on constant alert. Well, that is my report about how four years on from the Grenfell Tower tragedy, we've still got hundreds of thousands of people caught up in this fire safety problem uh, where their flats have been deemed unsafe, but they're not sure whether they're going to be covered by the government schemes to remove dangerous cladding because they may have dangerous insulation or a host of other fire safety problems. MPs are going to be debating this in the House of Commons uh, this afternoon and a number of Conservatives, as we just saw there, think that the government's measures don't go far enough. Uh, yeah, chatting to Justice uh, for Grenfell Representative a little bit later on.